What if we drilled a hole through Earth? Traveling from one side of the Earth to the other is possible but represents a lengthy plane trip, not to mention increasing your carbon footprint a few sizes. Wouldn't it be easier if we just dug and kept digging until we got to the other side? Well, yes, technically it would be easier to travel. What wouldn't be easier is drilling the hole in the first place. The logistical challenges are a little bit more severe than just digging a well or drilling for oil. In this video, we're going to look at these challenges and assuming we could overcome them, what would happen if we decided to use this tunnel? Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. For now, let's look at what would happen if we drilled a hole through Earth. So drilling a hole through Earth is easy, right? Just keep drilling. Well, not really. The Earth's diameter is 7,917.5 miles, which I don't need to tell you is a long way. So our first issue is distance. Our second is what our planet is made of and what we'd be drilling into. First off, there's the Earth's crust, made of solid rocks and minerals, which is not a massive challenge. We drill into this all the time to extract materials like oil and gas. But beneath the crust is where it starts to get really challenging. This is the mantle, which is also mostly solid rocks and minerals, but punctuated also by areas of semi-solid magma. Bear in mind that magma can reach temperatures of 1200 degrees Celsius, and you can start to understand how drilling into it might represent some issues for us. If by some miracle we made it past the 1,800 mile mantle, what would be in our way is the inner and outer core of Earth. The outer core is about 1,400 miles thick. This is made of a combination of iron and nickel, along with gold, platinum and uranium, and other dense materials. Unlike their solid crust counterparts in the outer core, they're between 7,000 to 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit in hot metallic liquid form. I doubt there's a drill available that would be able to deal with that. But it gets worse. The inner core is about 750 miles thick and is mostly made of iron. This core is for the most part solid, but despite this, is actually hotter still. It can reach an amazing 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the same as the surface of the sun. The reason why it doesn't melt is that the intense pressure from the rest of the planet is so great. So even if you drilled through the magma and the liquid metal, you'd be met with a dense iron core as hot as the sun. Not only all this, but you'd have to deal with pressures up to 300 million times more than what we experience on the surface of the Earth. Assuming by some miracle you could get through all of this and drill a hole through one side of Earth to the other, then what would it be like to travel through it? Well, assuming the hole wasn't directly from one pole to the other, then you'd be subject to the Coriolis effect. This is when you would soon be traveling faster than the sides of the hole around you, and this would cause you to crash into the sides, which wouldn't be a fun trip. The only time this wouldn't apply is if you traveled between the poles so you'd avoid an unpleasant death this way. So let's say you went from pole to pole. Well, your journey would get pretty interesting. Initially, it would be like jumping off a high building and you would go into freefall. Your speed will constantly increase until you get to the point of traveling at 6 miles per second. At that kind of rate, it would help to have some kind of suit to protect your body from the crazy airspeed being inflicted on you. Where it gets really interesting is when you can start approaching the center of the Earth, where that dense core would have been. The mass above you and the attraction of the mass below you would cancel each other out and reach equilibrium. And this would also mean that the downward force would begin to get weaker the further you got towards the center. This would lead to a really bizarre effect. When you reach the center of the Earth, there would be no gravitational pull. And when there's no gravitational pull, you can ask an astronaut what happens. You end up weightless as gravity in all directions would be equal. This feeling of pure weightlessness would be amazing, but you'd still be traveling at a crazy fast speed so you wouldn't be able to enjoy it too much. Despite the downward force getting weaker, you'd still maintain the speed you have reached before and remember that it's 6 miles per second. You'd fly through the center of the Earth at the colossal speed and then you'd repeat the process you'd have gone through, just in reverse. The pull on the other side would strengthen again and get stronger still until you reached your destination on the other side of the planet, only 40 minutes later from when you started. 
This very trippy space odyssey that included weightlessness and the speed of sound would make for a pretty crazy ride that would take less than an hour. It seems like a real shame that we can't dig through over 7,000 miles of rock, magma, and iron as it sounds like one of the most extreme theme park rides of all time, not to mention a fun way to go on holiday. What this scenario does represent is the amazing forces that impact on us daily that we take for granted as well as the equilibrium of these forces that keeps things in balance. If we were to drill a hole through one side of the Earth to the other, assuming it was through the poles, it would give us an amazing opportunity to test these forces and the potential amazing effect it could have on matter. But unless we're prepared to drill through an iron core of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's not going to be happening anytime soon. So this helps us to answer what would happen if we drilled a hole through Earth. What do you think about the potential of the most amazing tunnel known to man? Would you like to have a ride down it? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.